There are eight primitive data types used to create variables in the Java programming language. And this table shows all eight of them. And the first four are the integer data types. Those include byte, short, int, and long. And the differences between them is not only the size, but the values. So if you only needed a number between negative 128 to positive 127, you can declare the data type as a byte for that integer. If you needed a number between negative 32,768 to positive 32,767, then you can declare that variable as a short. However, if you needed an even bigger number in the two, negative to positive 2 billion range and an even larger integer than that, you can either use int or long. And out of these four, int is most commonly used. And then there are two floating point primitive data types, and those include float and double. And double is double as precise as float, that's why it's called double. And you typically in Java only use double, nobody really uses float. It's not as accurate, you're going to get mistakes in your calculations, so stick with double. It's a lot more precise. For single characters or any character in the Unicode character set, and there's 65,535 of them, we use char for that data type. And when we declare char, make sure you surround the value with single quotes. And finally, there's Boolean. And if you declare a variable as a Boolean, it's, it can only have two possible values, and that is true or false. Let's create variables from all of these primitive data types. So in my class primitive demo, in the main method, I'm going to start creating all the four different integer data types. Integer primitive data types. So I'm going to create some integer primitive data types, starting with byte, let's call that A, and set that to a number within the range, like 45. Short, we'll call that B, and set that to a bigger number within the range. There's int C, and we'll set that to any integer. And integers have to be whole numbers only, positive or negative, and cannot contain decimals. Long D is 566. It doesn't matter what I set them to as long as they are not decimal numbers like this. This is not going to allow you to store a floating point decimal number in the variable D because we declared it as a long or an integer data type so it can only hold integers. And there's two floating point data types. And those are float. Let's call that E. And notice that it doesn't just let you assign it to a floating point number right away. You have to either add an F at the end of it to declare it as a float, or you have to cast it by sticking a parentheses float in front of it. So it's a little strange to declare a float, but I did say that you shouldn't use it. You should always use double instead for floating point numbers. And it's a lot more precise and you'll get more accurate results. Then there's the character primitive data type. So we'll create a char called G and assign that to dollar sign. Notice that there's single quotes around the character dollar sign because if you're creating a char variable it must have single quotes around the value. So remember single character, single quotes. Finally the boolean primitive data type boolean h and could set that to either true or directly to false so either way will work those are the two possible values right there and also remember that anytime you declare any variable with one of these eight primitive data types you are creating variables and not objects it's important to understand that and if these were anything else as a data type that were not one of the eight primitive data types, then these identifiers would become objects and not variables. Objects have data and methods, whereas variables don't. And I'll explain more about these primitive data types in different videos. So, but this is a general overview of all eight of them. So, thanks for watching.